the dead started walking, I was small and alone. Until a man named Lee became my protector. protected other people too, but he couldn't save everyone. You can never save everyone. The living were just as dangerous as the dead. A woman in our group named Lily lost her dad, and then she just couldn't cope. She took the life that Lee saved. Lee left her on the side of the road. Lee taught me how to survive. He protected me as long as he could, but he got bit because of me. And even in the end, he was still teaching. Keep moving as much as you can. Move. Lee wouldn't make it. He knew it was the end. He made one final request. He asked me to shoot him. And I did. I met another group after that. Broken people, running from their past. There was a woman who gave birth to a boy named Alvin Jr. AJ, he made it. But the mom didn't. And I started to take care of him. But then, Jane left AJ in the snow. We thought he was gone forever. That was the last straw for Kenny. And without Lee around, I had to make the call. I stopped Kenny. Finally gave him peace. It turned out AJ was alive. Jane hid him to make a point. Knowing what they'd done, I'd had enough. I took AJ and left them behind. AJ and I traveled to a new frontier. I thought we'd found something that worked, but I was wrong again. They took AJ from me, said I was too young to take care of him. I thought maybe they were right. I said my goodbyes. I regretted it later. I searched for a long time. Just when I gave up hope, I found him. We're searching together now for a place we can call home. I'm all AJ has. He's all I have. And I'll protect him with my life. Just like Lee did for me.
What you doing there, goofball? Pretending we got bullets. Well, don't. It's getting on my nerves. I don't like goofball. I'm too big for it. Would you prefer shitbird? <laughs> no. That's me. You're a shitbird. What's wrong? AJ? Hungry. your reading. But I don't wanna. It'll take your mind off your stomach. Preheat oven place cream vanilla be beans into a saucepan and bring to a boy. Uh, on second thought, never mind. That's only gonna make you hungrier. Here you go. About all we got. What about you? Go for it. We'll find something else soon. I believe you. We gonna do it? Think so. Looks clear. We're doing it. Water, too. All right, let's find some food. Friendly, ring the bell. What does it mean? It means the people here shoot first. What are you doing? AJ, stay back. <laughs> it 
Bites down. Still with me? Still here. No bites. Next, we get in there. Monster trap? <laughs> it's not a trap. You swing on it. For fun? You get in the tire and someone pushes you so that you go really high. Oh, I wanna try. After we clear this place. Interesting. What do we do inside a new place? We listen for monsters. After that? Uh... Come on, you remember. We... Inside a new place? Find, find a, way a way out. out. That's right. Monsters. All tied up. They can't get us? <sighs> no, they can't. Hmm. Front door is the only way out. This one's locked. Security door. Hmm. Can't pry that open. I know you're hungry. I am too. We'll find something. I promise. This opens the door. <sighs> That's not happening. Please leave us alone. This is what we wanted. Poison. Did they give up? They wanted to leave this world together, holding hands in their own home. Will we have a home? We'll see. Do we get the key? Mm, it's risky. Might be another way through that door. Let's look around. Let's be smart.
That's right. Too small to crawl through. Well, for me. The key or the window. Those are our options. It's dark in there. We should kill the monsters. They're not people. Well, they used to be people. And as people, they ask to be left alone. So what's best? I'll get the key. I'm sorry. thing going here. Can we stay here? We'll see. No one's here. No one's ever anywhere. It's always just monsters. I'm here, kiddo. I know. And you saying I'm not someone? That's not what I mean. Just a few. Remember what we said? You know this. Always, Always aim for the head. That's right. Come on, let's keep looking. There's gotta be something we can eat. Hope so. Not the worst place to sleep. Spoiled. Sorry, buddy. These are long gone. Fuck. You said it, kiddo. Shit, fuck. Look. Huh. Something under here. door? Huh, yeah. I must have wanted to hide something. That's a lot of stuff. Yeah, it is. We could eat for weeks with this much. It's rigged! Fuck. Okay. We need 
need to get back to the car. You know what to do. Stick to the sides and be my eyes while I clear a path.
PJ. Uh, uh, uh. What is this place? will do. Here. Put down the knife. But you do the same. We're not gonna hurt you. We've got your boy, he's safe. I'll take you to see him. Your turn. guy's Tennessee. Ten, for short. He's the one been taking care of you. He, uh, doesn't talk much. Clementine. Sorry about locking the door and tying you to the bed and all. You were in uh, pretty rough shape when we found you. You had to take precautions, you know, just in case. No need to explain. Like you said, I was in pretty rough shape. Yeah, to say the least. Must have been tough out there, for the both of you. Anyway, I didn't mean to scare you. Just being cautious. Sorry if it came across the wrong way. But you're safe now, and so is your friend. Come on, let's go see your boy.
So you've been surviving out there a while, huh? Yeah. We've been on the road a long time. Take it you know how to handle yourself? Don't usually see people our age alone out in the wild. Sure. I do what I can to get by. No matter what. Hey, don't worry about it. We all do what we have to. It's good we found you when we did. It wasn't easy getting you two out of that wreck. The walkers were on the way. The car, was it totaled? Yeah. Fuck. Had to work fast. I don't know what would have happened if we hadn't seen the smoke. I appreciate it. All alone with the kid? Not a pleasant thought. I've seen some rough scenes. Uh, hi there? What's his problem? You're just new. I mean, we haven't seen anything like you in... ever. What is this place? You can probably tell it used to be a school. Now it's whatever we want it to be. And who's in charge? Uh, well, I am. It probably sounds strange, kids run by a kid, but we do all right for ourselves. We've got good walls, good defenses. Good location, too. No one really comes out this way anymore. No adults. At all. It wasn't always like this, though. People leave. They die. There's less of us all around. I got us a system in place that works well enough. Allow me to make it formal. Welcome to Erickson's boarding school for troubled youth. You and your boy feels like you both fit that description. It's hard to survive too long these days without being a bit troubled. I was pretty good as a kid before everything changed. Made a lot of trouble since then. We all had to grow up fast. I'd say that goes double for your boy. It's been a little terror since he arrived. <laughs> Excuse me? Let's just say he hasn't been happy without you around. At all. Yo! Marlin! We got walkers on the fence! Shit. I need to take care of this. Knowing Willie, it's probably two grandma walkers and an angry squirrel. You got bigger fish. The kid's inside. I think he's with Lewis. Lewis? Oh, right. Uh, just listen for the music. You'll find him. Hey, get a move on, Willie. Where's your damn weapon? They're fake. Go this way. Where is that music coming from?
Dead. That's good. Watch your kid for you. My name is AJ. Excuse me. Hope he didn't cause you any trouble. He was a bit of a handful. But I got off light compared to what Ruby went through. AJ doesn't like people coming up behind him. Don't ever do it. Loud and clear, little man. Thankfully, I was here to calm him down with my alluring music. I'm Louis. Clementine. Oh, yeah. Totally forgot. Marlon left your bag in here somewhere. Don't worry, I've got it. Double, um, does he know what that is? It's dirty. Clean it. Maybe later. Back you go. Where it belongs. Dude, that can't be a good idea. That thing's bigger than him. Is it actually loaded? Yes. Oh, good. He's earned my trust with it. He's a tot. Yeah, a tot who can shoot. You guys do your thing, I guess. You don't know any others? Well, there is one. But you're armed. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling. Oh, my darling Clementine. You are lost and gone forever. Can you play something else? Dreadful sorry, Clementine. <laughs> what do you think, AJ? I don't know. It's loud. It is. Loud is bad. Not always. Compress this key. Come on. This one right here. <laughs> Go ahead, AJ. Press it. Now press this one. And this one. <laughs> You're a natural. Hey! You seen Rosie? Nope. Shit. We've got a bit of a situation out there. Um, <clears throat> hate to ask you just coming to and all, but could really use a hand. You up for taking out a few deadheads? You too, Lewis. Get your ass in gear. <sighs> Fine. Rosie! Where the hell is she? You give her her weapon back? Good. We're gonna need you to put it to use. We've got a hunting party out there trying to get back inside. We need our help to clear the way. Seems to be a few more than usual these last couple days. It's almost like something drew their attention. Something like, I don't know, an explosion or a car crash. Bye. What? Just saying. There's got to be some explanation. Look, I didn't know any of that was going to happen. Sorry if it caused you guys problems. Uh, um. Hello, Clementine. I'm Violet. Nice to meet you. What he said. All right, boys and girls. They're starting to fill in. Come on. Be careful out there. Don't mind Violet. She, uh, grows on you. I promise. Oh, this? It's a chair leg. I call it 
Cheryl's. Chloe, let me help. I need you to watch my back. Call out from inside if you see anything. Cool? Okay. See you on the other side. not gonna be able to hold them off much longer. No kidding. Where'd all these walkers come from? We can talk when we're back inside the gates. Keep an eye out for stragglers. You know, you're not
not half bad, considering the circumstances and all. Thanks. Let's finish these guys off. We don't need them attracting more walkers back to the school. It's all right, girl. It's all right. Hey, see you and Rosie are making friends. Had a bad experience with the dog ones. Well, Rosie here can help you get over it. She's as cuddly as they come. Oh, except when she's mauling walkers, that is. <sighs> that walker came out of nowhere. All right, all right. Fun's over. Let's get inside. <sighs> Fucking starving. You're not the only one. How to go out there? How do you think it went? Be nice, Asim. Safe stone's nearly dry. I could barely find enough for tonight. We're gonna have to scout out further if we want food for the winter. We'll talk about it later. Bullshit. We should talk about this right now. I said later, damn it. Still standing, I see. I'd call that a B plus performance there, Vi. You've done better. Fuck off. B minus then. Now, Clem here, that was a solid A. A plus even. Don't be jealous, Vi. Um, you kicked ass, Violet. A plus. I know. You're both delusional. Pretty good with the monsters. Come on, y'all. Food's <sighs> <sighs> AJ! <sighs> oh, shit. <sighs> yeah, you can't really walk up behind him. He's got a thing about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A painful thing. He can't go around punching people into. I don't want to expect them to eat at the same table. I'll talk to him. Hey. Hey. What are you looking at? What's that bird doing? That's gross. He should stop. That bird's a crow. In school, they told us they're called scavengers. Can you say that? Scavengers. No. Scavengers. Scavengers. Avengers. What's it mean? It means they don't hunt like us. They just eat stuff that's already dead. Huh. Scavengers are gross. Oh, yeah. I didn't mean to hit him. I didn't know that it was Marvin. Marlin. Right. AJ, I'm sure they'll forgive you. But we should go talk to them. But I don't think they like me. I can just tell. Hmm. If they don't, let's go show them how wrong they are. I think I'll stay here. With the bird. <sighs> AJ, listen. We haven't eaten for days. The car is gone. All that's outside these walls are walkers. Do you really want to go back out there? No. <sighs> so we should apologize to Marlin. Right now? Well, we can work up to it. Let's talk to the other kids first. Mmm, yeah, 
this. Hey, guys. Clem, AJ, this is Omar. Eh, excuse me. Chef Omar. Hello, and no, it's not ready yet. Omar's a perfectionist. The slightest flavor out of place, and he's grumpy for a week. You can eat or you can eat right. All it'll cost you is a little patience. I'll let you guys know when we're done. There's that girl, I bet. Yeah, wanna talk to her? You mean, say I'm sorry? Yes. She's scary and always seems so mad. You can do it. You just gotta... You just gotta start with a joke. Once she's laughing, apologize. Uh, okay. Yes. Knock, knock. Who's there? Edge. Edge who? Bless you. Uh, I'm sorry I bit you. You're forgiven, you little weirdo. I did it! You sure did. Not ready. Not yet. Okay. Let's talk to someone else. A weapon. Uh, yeah, I can see that. You're good at that. You like that, huh, little dude? You wanna see something cool? I wanna see. <laughs> yeah. Pretty rad, huh? That's how you fuck up some monsters. Fuck up monsters, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little dude said fuck. Hello? Hello? Oh, hey. It's you two. Clementine, right? Yep. A sim, right? What are you writing? What happened today? I chronicle everything. Hmm. Like a diary? I try to think of it more like a history book. Those who do not learn from the past and all that. <sighs> you seemed really mad at Marlin back there. He keeps pulling back the safe cell. We have fewer and fewer places to hunt, which means we're gonna have fewer and fewer things to eat. The new girl went and helped the hun hunting party come back. She... Hey, zip it! That is not yours to read, kid. Give it back. It was just sitting there. So? So it was just sitting there. Finish that sentence, AJ. Saved my life. I F-worded up and looked like a fool. Not cool. I just... I write mistakes down so they won't happen again. I gotta finish this before dinner. Not to be, like, rude, but, you know... Bye.
Hey, guys. What is this? Our graveyard. You guys still do that? Kinda, sorta. So, who's buried here? Nobody, really. This is where we buried ten sisters' belongings. Minnie and Sophie. Twins. Lost them. Both about a year ago. Paying respects. Should we do that too? Maybe? Yeah. I think that'd be a very nice thing to do, AJ. Come on. Thank you. Clem? Yeah? I'm ready. To talk to Marlon. Okay. Clementine, right? I'm Brody. He's a sweet little fella. Figured there ain't a lot of room for sweetness still out there. I'm the lucky one. He's just naturally good. Naturally good? That's rare stuff. I'm really sorry I hit you. Can we please stay here and eat dinner and not go out into the forest and get killed by monsters? Don't sweat it, buddy. You can make it up to me by teaching me your technique. You, a regular heavyweight. Hey, Clem! AJ! Stew's done! You guys earn your supper after all. Ladies and gentlemen, dinner is served. <sighs> Thanks. Wow, I can't remember the last time we had a hot meal. Mmm, this is really good. Mm. <laughs> Come on! Uh. Where are your manners, AJ? Good night. Good night. Clem. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sure they shared as much as they could. AJ, heads up. I'm full, kiddo. You can have the rest. You sure? You bet. <sighs> I'm all done. Mm-hmm. Me too. Now what? I'll tell you what. Time for something very important. Oh, God. Good night. Violet, it's time. What's the game tonight, Lou? War. The oldest game around. A game played by man and beast alike. The only game there is. I don't know the game. The only card game I've played had less people. Don't worry. You'll pick it up as we go. It's easy. Everyone gets a stack of cards. Everyone flips one over. Highest card wins. And the winner gets to ask Clem a question. What? I want to get to know you. We all do. And what if I win? Then you get to ask us one. It's only fair. Wait, what about AJ? What about him? <laughs> Looks like he's made a friend. You can take your eyes off him for one card game. But you both could use a break from each other. Yeah, maybe. This is his first time around anyone his own age. Sometimes he acts more like an adult than a kid. It's nice to see him act like a little boy again. Lewis, if you would.
Way to go, me. So, about AJ. Where are AJ's parents? You two don't really look related, so... What happened there? They're dead. They were nice people. For the most part. It makes sense. He's a nice kid. For the most part. Hey, I win. Hey, you do. So, what do you want to know? Worst injury you ever saw. I uh, saw a walker get hit in the head so hard both his eyeballs flew out. Pretty cool. I saw someone have their intestines pulled all the way out. Like, all the way. It goes on for a while. We got a lot of guts. Booyah! Come on, spit it out. So, uh, ever, uh, ever have a boyfriend? Oh my god. What? It happened. Perfectly valid question. You can ask me if I've ever had a girlfriend. Never. Not even once? Never. Ah, I win. So, Clem, you can't have been alone this entire time. Who used to take care of you? Family? Anyone? The first person who taught me about survival was Lee. <laughs> What'd he teach you? Lots of stuff. Most important thing? How to say goodbye. I win again. You do indeed. Ask away. Okay, uh, what's the grossest thing you've ever eaten? It's pretty easy, uh, horse eyeballs. Slugs. Cantaloupe. Come on. Dude, I fucking hate cantaloupe. I ate a guy's leg once. I'm kidding. Are you? Victory Violet. Here's something I love to ask when I'm in groups. <clears throat> Out of the four of us, who do you think is gonna die first? That is fucked up. <laughs> oh, I know. Any one of you, but certainly not me. So sure. Made it this far. So have we. I am the greatest card player of all time. Just ask your damn question. Ever? Actually, never mind. What? Ask it. It's not a fun question. Ask. Ever had to kill someone you loved? Lewis. Hey, she wanted me to ask. Lee. His name was Lee. It was the same day I found out my parents were dead. That sounds like a rough day. Yeah, worst day of my life. I think I'm done playing for tonight. Yeah, it's probably for the best. You wanted me to ask. Let's go, AJ. Uh, good night. Night, AJ. Long day, huh? Yep. Real long. Uh, I hope you know Lewis didn't mean any harm there. He's just the world's biggest dumbass. Yeah, he's my best friend, so I can legally call him that. You guys relax. Get some sleep. I'm human for a night. In the morning, come find me. We can talk about making this long term. If we can stay? We can talk about it.
Only way out? Yep. Good. This box has so many colors. Well, must have been an artist living in here. What's an artist? It's like a person who colors a lot, draws, does pictures. You mean like tin? Yeah, like tin. Huh. I like to do pictures too. Oh, shit. I, I didn't know Marlon set you up in this room. I just wanted to grab something from the closet. Where the hell is it? Oh. What? That's what I was looking for. It belonged to Sophie. Uh, Ten sister. He was asking for more art supplies and stuff, so I was going to. Oh, sorry. We didn't know. No, no. It's it's fine. Don't don't worry about it. Honestly, it's just been sitting here for the past year and no one's touched it. If AJ wants to play with it, it's it's fine. You should probably give the box back. It doesn't belong to us. Thanks, buddy. It's just that Ten wanted it since it was his sister's and all. It's okay. You can finish your drawing, though. I don't mind. Huh. I see you're, um, settling in. Yeah, is that okay? Sure. I guess. I always liked this room. Sophie had, like, paintings and shit on the walls. Lots of color. And Minerva. She was really musical. Not like Lewis, though. She had actual talent. <laughs> she had the most amazing voice. Real bluesy. Marlon always joked that he would scavenge a guitar and the two of them would tour the country. That was a long time ago. After they... Afterwards, Brody and Ten took down all the paintings, and that was the end of it. I shouldn't have even brought it up. It's not a good memory. Guess I just lost my train of thought. Oh, well, they sound like they were great friends. Yeah, Sophie was a good friend. And Minnie... Uh, we were close. Me and her. What exactly happened to them? Sophie and Minerva. They went scavenging with Marlon and Brody out past the safe zone. Didn't make it back. It happens. Honestly, I just miss having someone around to talk to. There's just so many dudes. This place can get a little too bro town for my liking sometimes. And I'm not exactly like a people person. You know, I know I sometimes have a habit, have a habit of being a little bit too harsh. You come off all right. I thought you were pretty cool. Oh, um, thanks, I guess. You were pretty cool too, out there against those walkers. Hey, Clem, I'm an artist now. Not bad, kiddo. I should be getting back. Thanks again for the box. You're pretty cool, AJ. See ya. Yeah, see ya. <sighs> okay, Alvin Jr., time for bed. Okay, here. For me? For the wall, to make our home look nice. That's a good idea, AJ. How about here? Uh, AJ?
Hey there. What are you doing? This is where I'm gonna sleep. <laughs> what? No, it's not. It's safe under here. No one can get me. Come on, AJ. The bed is way better. Oh, man. This bed is so comfy. What about the door? What if someone comes in? What if they try to hurt us? What if they steal our stuff? I'll keep watch. I'll sleep with one eye open if I have to. You can't sleep like that. I tried. If I stay here, no one can find me, and I can keep guard and watch over you. I can protect us. <sighs> hey, what's gotten into you? Please, Clem. It's not so bad down here. AJ, listen to me. It's gonna be okay. Please just give the bed a chance. It's soft and warm. I think you'll really like it. <sighs> this bed is really soft. Told you so. It's really, really soft. Good night, AJ. Clem? Hmm? This place is nice. I'm glad we found it. Me too.